I'm joined by Dr. Zhao Zhanming, Chairman and CEO of ZTE Corporation. What's ZTE's strategy in 5G? ZTE is a leader in 5G research globally, and 5G will be critical for the digital transformation for operators and uh, enterprises. ZTE's 5G strategy covers three aspects. The first aspect is the 5G wireless access. ZTE is leading the market with our innovations. Our pre-5G solutions are deployed in more than 40 networks globally, including SoBank in Japan and Telefonica in Latin America, allowing operators to deliver a 5G experience on existing 4G infrastructure and devices. What's more, it will be simple for operators to upgrade from pre-5G to 5G, or software upgrade in the future. The second aspect is the 5G backhaul. GTE's Network 2020 platform and our ElasticNet solution will help operators to build powerful core networks based on virtualized and cloud-based architecture to support the growing traffic of 5G networks. GTE's ElasticNet solutions are now deployed by more than 50 commercial networks globally. The third aspect is preparing business and industries for 5G. GTE is leading the way with our innovations on narrowband IoT, and our solutions can be deployed on both existing 4G base stations and NFV core networks. We will also help our customers deploy narrowband IoT in the industry, including financial services, energy, and transportation. What's ZTE's strategy to grow its pre-5G business? Are you making announcements here at Mobile World Congress? Our pre-5G solutions are putting ZTE in a very strong position as we prepare for 5G. In the past year, ZTE has helped many operators deploy pre-5G solutions commercially across the world. The key to our success is innovation. ZTE is the first company to offer FDD-based massive memory-based stations. And here in Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, we will be demonstrating its performance advantage for 4G FDDRT operators. We are also launching our AAU solution based on 5G technology covering high and low frequencies. As we prepare for future 5G deployments, GTE is working with major global carriers, including China Mobile and Telefonica on research of core technology and standardization. Together with China Mobile, GTE is deploying a narrowband IoT pre-commercial network. Apart from 5G, what other technologies are important for ZTE? How do you see the market for IoT? In 2017, GTE will continue to invest heavily in R&D to drive innovation in new technologies to support operators and enterprises, customers in their digital transformation. In addition to 5G, include virtualized networks, cloudification, big data, IoT, and artificial intelligence. We are expecting to see an acceleration in the development of IoT globally. In IoT, GTE will focus on innovation in narrowband IoT and LoRa. GTE will be working closely with our ecosystem partners in the development of IoT. In particular, we will be driving innovation in connected devices and terminals, networks, applications, analytics, information security, and the services for different industry verticals. GTE will focus on IoT solutions in four areas, smart city, smart home, industrial internet, and connected vehicles. At the Mobile World Congress 2017, GTE will be co-hosting the Global IoT Summit together with the GSMA. And the speakers from our partners, including Intel, Telia, and Qualcomm, will also be presenting their plans for IoT at the event. Dr. Zhao, thank you for your time. Thank you, sir.